Should we say more that Lord decided to take a break when it was tricky this time or it was just his time to leave the Big Brother Niger house? Anyway guys, we're going to find out as I'll give you the recap of what happened during the weekend. It's another exciting Your Malicious episode on the Catch-Up Show and my name is Stomi. You all know now, excited Monday, we come to the streets of Lagos to hear what people have to say about the Big Brother Niger show, especially the life eviction show. But before then, let's give a quick recap. So yesterday was double eviction, Trickety and Ozol left the Big Brother Ninja house. Although Ozol even came as a big shocker, but then it is what it is, Big Brother Ninja, black market, like I always say, they can just come and shock you at any time. Your favorite might just leave the house. From the Big Brother Ninja lockdown house is Trickety. You have been evicted. Also, you have been evicted. It leaves Dorothy, Nengi, Neo and V, the, and Lakon, the fifth housemate, to be at the top of the grand finale. This week is going to be so tight, but then, what happened on Saturday was actually, I don't understand. I mean, nobody deserves to be treated that way. It was humiliating, sort of, to me. Nengi and Ozo because of food. I still don't know why housemates always fight because of food. And what she told him at the night party, that he should go away with his stupid love and he should go love himself. Appa, that was too heavy. I don't think she knew he was going to leave the big brother Nigeria house yesterday. But as she'll have been more nicer. But then she apologized yesterday morning. And then they moved on. But, ah, Ozo, Seth, food for love. Any little thing be loving up and down. But what I say about it is that we all receive and take love different ways. So for him, I wouldn't blame him. That is actually the way he knows how to receive love and give love. You know, Ebuka to always break tables. Yesterday, he asked Neo the reason why he said um, Ozo should just free Nengi. But then he explained that it's because he's always the one chasing after Nengi and he just wants Nengi to miss Ozo a little bit but then now it's going to happen because when Ozo left the house we saw Nengi cry I mean I've actually not seen Nengi cry Ad -gay, Ad -gay. she still cried because of the Ozo and moving forward when they were celebrating she was like she misses him and stuff well she have just one week if they can still try to you know hold body small perhaps they'll miss outside the house and continue whatever it is they are body till then let's just keep our fingers crossed Two. One. <laughs> so with no further ado, let us jump right into the excitement in our Monday. Come with me. Okay, Becky, um, what's your take on the Big Brother Niger show? Like, what's, what has been happening in the house so far? So what's your thoughts? Okay, Big Brother Niger actually, I enjoy, it's actually fun, we share experience there. Okay, so what happened yesterday? Ozo left the house. Do you uh, think he actually deserved to leave the house? Not really, not really. And like his mood actually, he wasn't happy when he left, like people were sad though. Okay, so what do you have to say about, as a lady now, if you have a guy like Ozo in your life, <laughs> how would you react to that? Uh, like if I have a guy like able to make sure he deserve it, he deserve my, like he deserves for us to be forever, something like that. Okay, so the character of Ozo that is too pushy and stuff, you like the way his character is? Sure, I I like it. Okay, so what about New and V? New and V, they are actually nice together. So what are you rooting for now? Who is it that you want to be the? The king of the big brother Nigeria. Leko, Leko. <laughs> why? Why is everybody saying Leko? Uh, actually, I like Leko. You are like he's always. Sometimes he's always moody in the house. He doesn't do things anyhow. I really like him, and I want him to one day 2020 Nigeria. Oh wow! Thank you so much for your time. All right. All right bye. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. What's your name? Isaac. Isaac. So Isaac, what do you think about the um, life of the country yesterday? Yeah, um, it was one that was expected, you know, um, everyone saw it coming, also has been distracted for a while now and uh, so I think it was due time he had to leave. Yeah. It was due time he had to leave. So what yes. about New and V? Uh, those guys are keeping up with their game and uh, I see them in the finals. You see, they're already, they're already in, the finals. in the finals, can you exactly. imagine? Yes, yeah, so yeah, they deserve, they've been... You know, no one actually expected them to come this far, and uh, 
they've been here and there, but their, their game is tight, so. We expect him to um, win eventually because he, he's, his game is tight and um, so many big guys are rooting for him. So if he doesn't win, it will be one of the biggest shocker in the BBN series. Yeah, so we all expect it. There shouldn't be any kind of a juror, so I believe um, the, the voting system is true and legit, so there will be no external influence of any kind. Let us hope so. <laughs> yeah, we hope so. All right, thank you so much for your All right, all right, thank Bye. you. Yeah. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, what's your name? Uh, my name is Ibuka. Ibuka, okay. So, Ibuka, what do you think about the show, the life eviction show, the relationships in the house and all? Uh, when you talk about um, Ozo and Nengi, in my own opinion, I thought, um, my own thinking is, okay, N uh, Nengi is kind of playing a game based on, okay, based on Ozo and kind of human as the kind of person that is uh, his mind and his set is kind of slow you understand so my own thought I thought Nengi is kind of playing him that is it so when we talk about um new and V new and V I would say that relationship well for me it's just a game that's how their own tactics that's how maybe their, their own method of them of winning that's just it so that's it so we're not about who will win the stuff. I think Lacon will win because he has a, a kind of vibe that okay, we people watching it from the outside likes. So I thought Nico will win the, the stuff. That's what it is. Anyway, let's just hope it's going to be like that. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Yeah. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, what's your name? My name is George. George, okay, so George, what are your thoughts about what's happening in Big Brother Niger House so far? Well, I'm not going to lie, I'm actually very, very happy that my guy, as usual, my guy, Lekon, is still around. He was, like, he had 50% of the votes. That was, that was really, really, like, I was, I'm, I'm actually really happy about it. But then, yeah, everything is just, it's just very, very fine. I, I like just the way it is. Great. What about Ozo and Nengi that happened over the weekend? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> that guy actually needs OT. He, he needs to come to the streets and receive OT. No, do you, don't you feel that's the way you understand love or that's the way you can give love? Do you think it's stupidity? I feel it's obsession. I'm not going to lie, I feel it's obsession because we've all felt something like that. So we actually understand how it feels, but then that's, 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 that's obsession. Okay, that's can you give us like a scenario that's felt obsession? Every single time, writing letters, doing things that I did in primary school, all those normal, weird, I don't know how much to like put it, but then cheesy stuff yeah being too like gummy and all like it's actually it's not it's not like, nah. okay so but you're seriously for this liquor ah liquor for life so what's liquor liquor doesn't win what's going to happen he has made he's, he's been already that's the thing he has made it already we all know he at least he has got some cash in the house he has like concerts already he has fans he's like songs on uh, so many streams on Apple Music, Spotify, everywhere. So he's been already, but then the money is good to at least push, like you know. Push me a little bit higher. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Right. Actually, some people cracked me up, and then some people actually said the genuine truth about this Big Brother Ninja show. But do not forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and turn the notification bell so that whenever we post, you'll be notified. Till I come here next time on the Catch Up Show. My name is Toby.